back down here in level seven again. I wanted to talk real quickly about filling and draining propellant from the missile. So to do that, use these big hoses. There's one here, and there's one over on the other side. One is for fuel, one is for oxidizer. This one happens to be for fuel right here. So what you would do is you'd be down here in your big protective uh, Refco kind of moon suit thing, and you would unscrew this from its little uh, fitting right here, and take this piece, and you'd actually move this over to right here, my head down here, and you'd fit it on, you'd screw it on right here. And this is called a poppet valve, and how it works is there's a little disc right inside here. And when you push the hose on there, that disc gets pushed back. And when you take the hose off, that little thing pops back, and hence the name poppet valve. So it closes, opens and closes kind of automatically when you put the hose on here. So you would connect the hose to here, uh, you'd call on a radio to tell them to open some valves and throw some switches, and propellant would flow by gravity all the way from a tank truck on the surface down here into the missile. It's all done by gravity. Now, when you want to, to drain the missile, of course, that has to be pumped off. And so, you again, you'd connect the hose to right here, uh, and then to see the pumps, we've got to go down to level 8. So the pump rooms are down here on level 8. We've got two of them, one on the other side by the elevator, but there's no light in that one, so we'll use this one instead. This is the oxidizer pump room. Come on in. And this is where you would install pumps to pump propellant out of the missile. The pump would actually be installed right on that little platform right there between these two blind flanges. So you connect the pump. Of course, you'd be down here in your protective Refco suit, rocket fuel handler clothing outfit, that'll be on the quiz, uh, to protect you from the vapors, because there will always be residual vapors. When, for example, when you take the blind flanges off, there's, there's residual uh, propellant in the pipes, and it'll come boiling out. It's, in this case, it's oxidizer, and it'll make a big orange cloud in here, and so you want to be you know, subjected to that, so make sure you got your suit on. Until 1979, the pumps were permanently installed down here. And that's because they had this idea that if they needed to, they could emergency offload propellant from the missile. Now, I looked into this extensively, and I can tell you that you would not be able to do that without making a, a suicide mission for somebody. Uh, because the pump, you'd have to come down here, well, the, the big part of that is, Remember when we were up uh, and I took that hose off and we connect that hose into the missile? When you take that hose off, again, there are propellant vapors that come boiling out of there. And so if you're not wearing a Refco suit, and in an emergency situation, you might not have a Refco suit down here. So anyway, in 1979, they gave up on the whole idea of emergency offload. And when they did that, they took the pumps out. Now, I don't know why. They, they could easily have left the pumps installed. It doesn't hurt anything. But they chose to take the pumps out uh, when they did that, and so now you have to install them as required. So there's a quick overview of loading and unloading the missile. Thanks for watching.